This is the second video I've done on one of my favorite authors, Mark Twain, and how he taught memory training techniques. Hello? Really? What's that? I have a package? I'm on it! I gotta be honest with you, I know what this package is. It is a book written by Mark Twain. If you've been following my channel, you know I love old memory books. This book was written a long time ago, but this is not an old copy of it. That's why my excitement isn't the same. This is a reprint of, drum roll, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. What? I bought this book not because it's a memory book, but because it was written by Mark Twain. Mark Twain fell in love with memory training after he took a memory course. Born Samuel Langhorn Clemens in 1835, Huckleberry Finn, I'll read this later just for fun, but in this book, Harper's Monthly Magazine, published in 1914, How to Make History Dates Stick by Mark Twain. In this book, he taught his kids how to memorize the kings and the queens of England, and in my last video, I showed you how he did that by mapping out locations on his farm. I'll put the, the link to that in the description, but there's another thing Thing that he taught his kids how to do. He wanted to teach them how to memorize the kings and the queens of England by using the inside of their house, which is very similar to what we do in the Mind Palace. But he definitely did it a different way here. I'm going to explain it to you exactly as he taught it to his kids and exactly how they did it. And then I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of this. There's some things I like about this and there are some things that I don't like about this. But let's get started. So the first thing that he does is he says, draw a two inch by two inch square, draw a whale to represent William, because they both start with W, and then write the years 1066 to 1087, and write 21 years underneath it. He writes, take your pen now and 21 pieces of white paper, each two inches square, and we will do the 21 years of the conqueror's reign. Whale is good for William because it starts with a W for William, whale. Whales are so big, and he was such a big character in English history. History. Two inches by two inches. We draw this picture 21 times because he served 21 years. By drawing the same picture over and over and again, it's going to ingrain it in your memory. Now we have 21 pieces because he served for 21 years. Just writing it over and over will help you remember that. And, draw, and your mind thinks in pictures. So you see so you a picture of a whale to remind you of the name William. So he's using a lot of the same stuff that I use. Seeing pictures, but I normally don't write them out. But again, we're looking and we're exploring different methods. And Mark Twain right now is giving me a different method. I'm gonna keep doing this, keep going through this for each one. The next person who reigned was William II. And he reigned for 13 years. So he gives us a picture to draw, and we draw this picture 13 times on blue paper because he served for 13 years. Eh, well, that's gonna have to be good enough. Hey, what's up? You know what I'm doing? I am reading the book by Mark Twain. He's teaching me how to memorize the kings and the queens of England. And what I'm doing is, is for every king or queen, for example, Henry served 24 years. So I cut out 24 squares and then I drew a picture of Henry, a hen for Henry. For Richard the Lionhearted, I drew a lion. So for every one of the kings and queens, he had me draw a different picture to help me remember the name and the years they served. And now the next thing I gotta, I gotta put these on my wall in the order that they served. It's gonna be kind of cool. Yeah, come on over. Now the next thing that he says that you do is you get a wall in your house and you tape these squares on the wall in order. So it probably looked something similar to this. 
Now let's go talk about what I like about this method and what I don't like about this method. So this is one way Mark Twain suggested that we memorize the kings and queens of England. What do I like about it? I like that it's very visual. You can see the map and whenever you see more squares, you know they served more years. And the more you see that, the more it's gonna ingrain it in your memory. Another thing I like about it is that he drew pictures. For Richard the Lionhearted, he drew a lion. William, he drew a whale. For Henry, he drew a hen. My picture for Henry is also a hen. So I think that's kind of cool. Me and Mark Twain have the same picture. So I like the pictures. I like that you can see it on a map and get a timeline in your head. I like that every time you walk past that spot in your hallway, when you come in the house, it is a reminder to you to review. When you leave and you walk by that wall, it's a reminder to you to review. I think the work you put into it is also gonna help your memory. And let me read you something that he wrote in here. God. This will make the walls interesting and instructive and really worth something, instead of just being flat things to hold the house together. <laughs> he was a bit of a comedian, but he's right there. You're, you're making use of the walls and it's, more than just decoration for your house or something to hold up your roof. Now, what do I not like about this? Well, instead of writing out 10 squares to remember 10 years, I think I would rather just have an image for the number 10, something to remind me of the number 10. Instead of having 56 squares to remember Henry III, I would probably just come up with a picture that reminds me of the number 56. That's how I would do it. Seeing 56 squares there, I guess, is a good visual. And every now and then, it might not hurt to do it this way. It just wouldn't be my first choice. My first choice would be to use the Mind Palace, which I talk about a lot in my videos. I'll put a link down in the description, as always. So this was good to try. If you want to get a copy of this book, this article, I'll give you a copy of it for free. Just click the link down below in the description, and I'll get it sent over to you. Also, if you haven't watched my other video on how Mark Twain used used places in a yard to, to memorize this same information. I'll put a link to that in the description. You might want to check that out. I do appreciate all the likes and the thumbs up. And finally, I'll say I have a memory course. It's called Black Belt Memory. And when you end, you get a black belt in memory, like a black belt in karate. It's really cool. You get to join the club and uh, you'll get access to a group and you'll be able to ask questions anytime and interact with other black belts in memory. So if you want to check out that and get admitted to our Black Belt Memory Club, uh, click the link below and, and check that out and get started on that. I love all the likes and comments. Tell me what you thought of this uh, Mark Twain book. Uh, and I'm going to look forward to doing a lot more old memory books for you. See you on the next video. It's kind of cool though to look at that.